Hey, good morning everybody. Joey with J&G Electric here. We are out at 4970 Skyler Drive out in Annandale, Virginia. Customer has a power issue where he's lost one phase of his electricity. Uh, here in Virginia, Dominion Power for townhouse communities back in the 70s, they installed power pedestals, which on the back of all these townhomes, you don't have a traditional meter. Your meter is in one of these power pedestals. Inside that power pedestal, <clears throat> you do not have any kind of breaker, any kind of overcurrent protection that is going in to the back of this unit. And what it does is the cabling is direct burial. It's individually stranded uh, electrical conductors that go from the pedestal back into the back door of the unit owner. Each unit owner has electricity going into each townhome. The problem is this is not being marked if there's anybody digging from Miss Utility because from the pedestal out is private utility. It's a very confusing situation and this is why a lot of these problems occur because people dig, they, are, they call Miss Utility, they think everything's being marked, but in fact this is not being marked at all. So this is a little up close photo of what this looks like into this meter socket, which they also call a power pedestal. We'll be back after we set up our tracing equipment to show you a little bit more as to what's involved in this troublesome repair. So we're inside the meter socket now. This is A phase and we're attached to B phase right now. The power's coming in on these two here and you can see how they come up out of the ground. On one of the conductors is our target address 4970. Originally the customer said it was in here, but it really wasn't. At some point they moved the uh, the shields and put them back in improperly in the wrong location. And that's what was giving us a little bit of a delay getting started on this cable trace. So what we do is we hook up with our tone generator we're putting a signal on the cable that's going underground there's a grounding point here that's the return and then basically we come out and we locate the path of the cable and as you can see transformers here you've got the green line there Then we got the next green line here. Next green line. Next green line. Next green line. Next green line. And then it's going to go back in through the backyard and into the house. Okay, so we traced it down through, came across into this fence line you can see the green marker there and we have a 113 signal we go on the other side of this fence and it's telling us to come back and it's going into that corner of the house so at this point we're going to excavate and see what we come up with it's about 18 inches down in the ground right by that post so now what we're going to do, we're going to rehook up the 510, which is going to give us a pinpoint accuracy of locating the exact point where it goes under that fence so we can track the depth as we're digging because we don't want to damage any additional conductors. And uh, after we dig it up, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we excavated the area 
where we had dug it up and I'm not sure how well you can see because of the shadowing and stuff but that cable right there is the one that's burnt you see the white one that's the neutral the other black one is a power and you can see where the post goes straight down and they hit it same as on that side over there but the our equipment was telling us it was exactly where it was so now we're going to do the uh, splice and put everything back together and bring the power back on hopefully all right here we are well it's been a long day uh pretty hot today it was about 96 degrees but we were a little bit in the shade <clears throat> as you can see down in the trench you have the two splices the white wire has a temporary connection for right now because we only thought one wire was damaged but actually all three were damaged due to heat up under the um the fence post that goes down into the ground with the concrete there was no way for us to get under it we only found the one wire that was actually the problem but then after we got each wire out of the trench and was able to inspect um we were able to realize that the other cables were damaged as well so long story short uh customer's power is back on after being out for two weeks um he wasn't really sure how to go about getting it fixed and he found us on a youtube video where a lot of folks find underground underground cable fault locating uh from an old locating video that i made and so i figured i would give you a 2022 version with the new equipment and that's what we got when i was showing you all this area we just put the wheelbarrow there to help cover up just in case if it rains so it doesn't flood and make a big mess for now we're done we got to come back later in the week and finalize everything and then backfill um, due to the conductors, the USC cable, we're going to put about two, maybe three bags of sand in each hole to make sure nothing damages the cable when we do actually backfill. Mr. Harry, introduce yourself to the YouTube fans that look at our underground cable fault locating video. Tell us how you found us. I had a break in the lines. I called Dominion Power and they came out and said power is good to the fuse box, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, meter box. To the meter box. So I called my electrician and he came out and he says power is good in the box, in the fuse box. And we don't deal with that line going between the meter and the house. Yeah, not many people want to fool with that kind of stuff, but I do. But you do. Well, I went online and uh, started poking around, and I came across JNG Electric's uh, video. I looked through that, and I said, "Oh, JNG! Let me Google that and see what I can find." And I found you guys, local. And the rest is where we are today. So we came out to Harry's house, spent the day. Had a hard time finding materials, did get the power back on. We do have to come back to complete the project, but how do you like the project at this point right now, Harry? So far, this is amazing. Did you hear that? He said amazing. I don't have many people say amazing. Would you recommend J&G Electric to your neighbors or friends? Absolutely, I already have. All right, anything else for closing remarks? No, just... Uh really appreciate you that you're around i hope the company stays around when you retire i am almost retired that's true but that young man over there darwin he's going to take over everything okay good all right well thank you so much harry we really appreciate your taking the time to do this review with jng electric and enjoy your air conditioning because you've been without power now two weeks two weeks two weeks he was trying to figure out how to get this power back on yes and then he and found J &G. and G. Then I found J and G. Yep. You won't be sweating tonight, Harry. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Uh huh.
Joey with J&G Electric signing off for now, but we will be back with other informative videos as they come available. Thank you so much for viewing, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Take care.